Hi everyone, today we're doing a review on The Promised Neverland, Season 2, Episode 7. So, we are going to start doing this weekly, because we are really enjoying this anime, and my kids are the ones that told me about it, and uh, the whole first season, I just could, couldn't stop watching, I watch every single one right after, and now every Thursday at 12, we always look forward to a new one. Yep. But one Thursday, they did um, just did like a preview. We were really disappointed on that day. Remember? So what did you think about today's episode? Vincent, do you want to tell them what you thought? Uh, or do you want to tell them what I thought first? first. Well, okay, well, I go first? Okay. So this is what I thought about today's episode. I really don't like Emma's plan to go against Norman. I think that they should all team up and try to take out the demons. And there's no way they're all just going to magically just live peacefully together. But I also think that attacking them is going to be a bad plan because there's too many of them and so little of the people. And I don't like how Don's new voice actor is extremely enthusiastic. He's just super duper cheerful, right? How does he have a new voice actor? It's the same one. Well, it just sounds so different. He sounds so, so like peppy, extra peppy. And then remember when Gilda gave Emma a little hug and then she started crying? And they looked at each other with that strange look. And then um, Gilda said from now on, I'm going to make sure you don't do anything dangerous. So that means as soon as they get towards the entrance of when they're going to go off to their little journey to find, um, what's the girl's name? Luca? Mujica or something. Mujica? When they find Mujica, I think that's when Gilda should pull her back and say, see, I told you I won't let you do anything dangerous and she won't let her go out. Why would that happen? <laughs> and I also don't like the part where... Norman, at the end, they have to leave you on a cliffhanger where you hear like a voice, but you don't get to see who was in that storage room. I mean, it could be that guy, um, William Minerva. It could be like a very articulate demon. Why would it be that thing? That, that's I don't a... know. Okay. If you literally watched it, then you would know that's not it, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. Uh huh. What are the time you were at the episode, though? Um, I give it an 8 because Emma's ruining it because she's really trying to stop everybody's plans. And I don't think that she should try to always control everybody to, everybody, let's do what I'm saying. Live in peace together. Even though those demons have been killing so many people. I thought this episode was very, very bad. Because, so the first 10 minutes was just, okay, the first 10 minutes were fine because it was just, it was the story that was moving right <laughs> Nor Emma was just talking to Norman about the plan and like Norman was telling him about how they actually can make all the demons like not have to eat the humans right mm -hmm. and, but then then it went on for two minutes where they say okay bye Norman I'm gonna go back to the other kids <laughs> then it was five minutes of her recapping what they just said for ten minutes mm -hmm. then the last five minutes was Norman explaining what he was doing or ex like it was showing Norman's backstory of what he literally explained last episode for 10 minutes, so there was no point in showing that because I could have just easily shown that while he was talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's so obvious what happens after, like, there's no cliffhanger on the episode because... What? There's no cliffhanger? Yeah, how is there Are you sure? So what about that voice? And then they have to, like, clip off and start with a song and you never get to see who, okay. who was talking to him. But last episode, he literally explained for 10 minutes that he met someone and... Named Smee? Yeah, and so you think? Oh, you think? No, no, that's not there? him. That's not him. I know that's not him because I read the book. Yeah, that's but there's him. no cliffhanger because if you paid attention last episode, he literally said that, like, he went to a different room and he met a guy, and then the guy brought him to like a different farm where they did experiments on him. So mm -hmm. like, there's literally no cliffhanger. There's if next episode's about what Norman like Norman going to a different farm, then that'd be like. That'd just be the biggest waste of an episode because I literally just explained that the episode before, so yeah, it would just be a recap episode. And also, I already said this, but when Emma was explaining what Norman said to the other people for five minutes, mm -hmm. it was just a recap of what we just saw. So. Okay, so one this is my least favorite episode, so one out of ten, I'd probably give it like this episode was so bad it was probably like a three out of ten. It was really bad. Also, I also um, think that Norman is like lying somehow that he may be working with those moms or the farms or something like that because I find it hard to believe he's just so little and he, he took a whole entire farm and he has some kind of potion or some kind of, what's it, some kind of liquid that's going to kill the demons? 
Yeah. So I'm still not too sure if Norman is is good or is Norman bad. They just explained this episode that he's bad. That he's bad? Yeah, they just think food. They oh, I thought the only bad thing is that he's lying and okay. he's lying to um, Emma. Okay, because he knows that they can make it so the demons are nice and like the demons don't have to eat the people, but mm -hmm. he just still chooses He'd rather just kill them. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, thanks for watching bye. this review and stay tuned for next Thursday because we're going to give a review of the next one.